happy birthday as well. You always find a way to pour your in solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the QFX R-35 AM FM shortwave portable radio. I purchased my radio for a total of $12.90 shipped from eBay. And when it came through, I was kind of surprised by the design. It looks really similar to another radio I own. So let's get the box. QFX, pocket size sound. Yeah. Do chillin'. Chick chillin'. Listen on the go. We got 2018 UPC code. And some pictures of the radio. Here we go. Features. Ten built-in speaker. LED tuning indicator. Sign to fit in your pocket. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get. We get a pretty much one sheet instruction manual. Kind of goes over the basics. Band coverage. You can see that there. It's 87.5 to 108 megahertz in FM. AM is 530 to 1600, and shortwave is 7.5 to 19, kind of a daytime frequency. Probably won't hear anything tonight, but we'll try. That's pictures of the radio there. Okay, different language. All right. And then they give you this waste of paper here, a one-year warranty. You got to go through all this stuff to get your warranty and even send them $5 for your warranty on a $12 radio. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Uh, the radio, boom, cheese, cheese. Looks awesome, right? Looks really familiar to me. It looks really, really familiar, but let's go over dimensions. Um, four and three quarter inches high, two and three quarter inches wide, and a depth, including antenna housing here, is one and a half inches. Uh, on the uh, side here, on the left side, we have a volume on off switch. We have a headphone jack, which is mono, both ears. It has a low level hiss, which is fairly annoying at low volume but it's there, and unfortunate. Um, we have an antenna here on the side that comes up and extends out to a total of 13 inches. It stows away, similar to another radio I know. On the front here, we got the band coverage I just read off to you on the manual. You can see how they do that. There's a battery indicator and a tuning indicator. They're red lights and they're blindingly red. <laughs> it's like hard to look at those lights, they're so bright. Here we have a two inch speaker Pretty awesome, look at that. Um, on the right side, we have a tuning wheel. This sucker is super sensitive, and it doesn't calibrate right on the AM or the FM, but I think it's calibrated for the shortwave. It's really annoying. I took the radio apart a few times trying to fix it, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. Um, band, FM, AM, shortwave select. On the back, we have a vented cabinet and a batteries, two double A's, doors captured, and yep. Let's just bring out the sister radio here. Do, 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 do. There you go. That's why I bought it because it's a clone. <laughs> it's a pretty good looking clone. I mean, hey, look, they even use metal instead of plastic. Sony cheaped out there. The antenna looks a little bit better on the Sony, though. Um, yeah, it, it looks pretty close to the same thing, doesn't it? Look at that. Tuning band select like even switch. I mean, it all is looking pretty except for the wrist strap thing that's right i don't know i guess they could still get a wrist strap and it didn't come with a wrist strap so I'm missing out i see got the same again compartment it's like the same exact setup <laughs> so yeah i'd show it to you real quick all right so before i get started tuning away um this is really neat i'm going to show some pictures of the inside of this radio i figure i'm gonna do this on one or two of my videos every so often especially in these cheap radios you get an idea of what it looks like on the inside so let's go ahead and look at some pictures right now. This picture here shows a two and a half inch ferrite antenna for the AM frequency. Looks like it's pretty well made and it sits at the bottom by the batteries there. Um, the second picture here is a picture of the audio amplifier chip, 8002A I believe it says. And then uh, picture three, this word, I think it's Beckon, it's a Beckon chip. This is that all-in-one FM AM shortwave chip, BK1198. And um, it says some extra stuff here, DG7112C. Um, this chip does everything. And uh, in this next picture, you're going to see it covers, the schematic covers the FM range of 60 to 112 megahertz, AM frequency from 504 to 1750 kilohertz, 
and the shortwave band from 2.2 to 22 megahertz. So yeah, these is pretty awesome um, that they can do this with this little tiny chip. So uh, let's go back to the radio here. All right, so yeah, as you can see, they didn't implement the full shortwave band. They just started at 7.5 and 19. That's unfortunate. They did start in a normal band at 88 to 108 for the FM. So we're going to get it going and see how it sounds. So let's go ahead and start on the FM. Yeah. Right, this is our on-off switch. Turn this on. A two-inch speaker. Sweet. And I said FM. Okay. Look how bright that light is. Blinds you. <laughs> Step tuning. To do, they were able to meet with them sometimes. Sometimes, it obviously, didn't work out all week. And feel better all weekend. K Love. So that's 90.5. You can see the dial where that's at. Is my classical station like trying? Finicky tuner. Get a lot of FM stations. That covers the FM band. Let's go on down to the AM band real quick. All right, AM. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go short wave. I got my antenna up already. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up my little Texan wire just to see. I doubt we're going to find anything on these because these bands start at seven and a half. Let's find out. So we're on short wave. Get the little wire extender.
tell I'm covering a lot there as I'm moving. Earlier, uh, I was able to pick up a couple stations, so that was nice. Or something. See, it's so hard to tune this thing. What the hell? Did I hold it? Cool, we found a station, yay! Not completely useless. That was wild. Figure out what that was. I guess that's about what we're gonna find. Okay, but you see, was able to get something tonight. That's cool. During the day, definitely get more. So yeah, it's a cool little radio shortwave on it. All right, let's go ahead and go to the AM. See if this shines. We all like the AM band. I do. Let's see what this little puppy can accomplish. The clone. All right, come on, little cloner. Let's see what we got. Bottom of the AM band. Checking it. All right. It's really hard to tune. It's almost like you tune it and then it pops out of tune, like something moves it. Might be Nashville 650 that we just hit. Man, it's so hard. There we go. That's Nashville. WSM. It's more important now than ever to make sure you have your financing in place. This should be 670. Local. There's a reason that so many of the area's top real estate agents line up to work with the home loan. Such a pain to tune. Who truly know your it's like a let go and it moves or something. IDA, the owner operator independent drivers association. An OOIDA truck insurance specialist. So I'm thinking 700? You with the right Cincinnati? And complete range of coverage and policy options to suit your operation. Talk truck insurance with the people who know your business. Call 1 800 444 5791 or visit OOIDAinsurance.com. Mm. They're bright. No call letters. Bye bye. Running in. Thanks. You're San Rafael, huh? 
pick up and hold for this department, one Alfred. This is WGN's Classic Radio. Um, so that was 700 WLW, so that's good. This is a fingerprint expert from San Rafael Police Department. Yes. Here's my book and record bureau. Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty good. We're informed Garvey is registered at the Fair Deal Hotel, your city. Where's that? <laughs> Zoomer Radio, sweet. Coming in beautiful. Hey, you're calling about a starting problem. What's yeah. going on? This it, should be uh, Detroit, cold, 760. I, uh, drive it and uh, leave it set for half an hour to maybe an hour and a half. We see rain, but we can also see a high of 58 degrees. Right now, 27 <laughs> here, 29 midway, 29 at the lakefront. Joliet at 28 degrees. Again, snow's gone for now, or whether it's over, the storm is moved okay, 780. On. But we got one to two inches in most places. Area. Three inches south, though, and in north. And Aaron Rodgers, it's weird. You heard what uh, Aaron Rodgers said on Golden Gamingo recently, right? During the Super Bowl. Big freedom. Well, we're talking thousands of people already lined up to cash in. Take that, for example. Eight sixty Toronto. Sweet. Wow. So I don't know if that was Denver we had. We'll back it up just a little. I bet you that was Denver there. Awesome. Let's see if we can get WCBS. Right. And get out of 860 there. Here we go. What's this? Okay, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if I'm hitting 880 or not. I might be. It's getting hard to tune. So sensitive. change. I didn't even do anything. Download this month only. Also on sale during February at 50% off is the Black Museum Volume 1 starring Orson Welles. 
in 12 true crime stories. It's regularly priced at hmm. $19.99, but it's yours for only $9.99 via digital what download this, this month only. Visit ClassicRadioStore.com and digitally download Classic Radio Let's wait and see. Shows Volume 1 and the Black Museum Volume 1 at half price. In March, these two collections will go back to full price, so don't miss them while they're on sale during February. Log uh, on to ClassicRadioStore.com to order. And while you're there, download an episode of Suspense absolutely free as our gift to you. That's ClassicRadioStore.com. Now back to the best in classic radio on Hollywood 360. Welcome back. I'm Carl Amari. This is Hollywood 360 broadcasting on about 200 radio stations from coast to coast. And we are about to listen to an hour-long broadcast of the Mercury Theater on the air. Now, we'll listen to half of that show on this edition of Hollywood. All right, we'll, well conclude it on our next... I think this is a Pittsburgh show. station, actually. Now, the Mercury Theater on the air was a drama so that's that came cool. to radio in 19... Because you got to ignore the scale. This is totally not right, but he found it by as you Ford can see. Sensitive as all get out, but it's just very hard to tune. No idea where I'm at. Get no call letters. Sure. <laughs> you might want to rethink. Yeah. Tonight, right now, if you'd like, for the annual Women of Achievement Luncheon Tuesday, May 15th. I'll be honest with you, I'm getting a ton of stations. It doesn't sound that far away anymore. And I'll go to this. You might want to get a reservation early. You can visit KMOX.com slash WOA. Get all of the details at this moment. And we have a group of guys known for... And wide wow, I didn't realize we were 1120 right there. Cool. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're 1120 is right, right there. Okay. Yeah, I, like I said, I tried to redo the the dial, and it's it's not. I couldn't change it. Tuning wheel is ridiculous. Come on. Alright. It's gonna fast forward to here. Just 
scoop out a few leaves? I'll be down in a heartbeat. Whoa! Ow! No! Using a ladder might seem easy. Misusing one is even. Ah, uh, we'll see how our friends like a little hate. Things from the ditch shot into the air, devouring ants by the meteors. Cool. It was some time before the petrol burned down. Okay, we're done. Oh, boy, I went on and on and on. But if you made it to the end, let's do some final thoughts. Okay, um, the QFX R-35, is it worth your $12.90? No, no, it's not. Um, really, it's not. Um, I would definitely take my $7 Nia or that, uh, what is it, that Kaimeta, Kaimeta, Five dollar radio that Radio Geek's been uh, talking about. You know, this thing's just is pretty pain in the ass to tune. <laughs> Excuse my French. Um, yeah, it's not worth the thirteen bucks. If this thing was five bucks, I'd be like, all right, I guess it's worth the experience. But yeah, it, it's just it's not worth it to spend your money on it. I mean, it has shortwave, yay, whoopie do. It's not implemented great. Look at where it starts. You know, no nighttime listening. So yep, this gets the big thumbs down. Um, I just bought it because it looks like the P26 Sony. It's just it's such an obvious ripoff. I love it, and they executed it pretty well as far as the plastics and the the gloss around the top and everything. So that's the only reason why I got it. So if you're a collector and you just like the clones or lookalikes, uh, buy one. You know, 13 bucks isn't too big a deal. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something that gets FM AM easier to tune, uh, Doom. If you can find these, hopefully they start making them again. I think they will. Um, definitely. I mean, this this is way better. Solid. I mean, I can squeeze this thing. Nothing's creaking. You know, it's just a great solid radio. I said throw that in there for the cheap Chinese stuff. Yeah, but you saw the little schematic. It's kind of cool stuff. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, thumbs up for the video. Um, <laughs> and I know the radio is not really a thumbs up video, you know, but it's it's one of those radios where it's like whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, if you like uh the videos that I make, hit subscribe, uh, hit the little bell icon, get notified, um, share with your friends, comment below what you think about this super Chinese clone or wannabe guy, what you think of it. Maybe I missed out. Maybe you got more of a better experience with the one than I have. Um, definitely let me know. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.